Okay, Jay, Gerald. Uh, okay, all right. Hello. Welcome. You're on Tamara's Paper Trail. I always have to cough when I start these lives. You're on Tamara's Paper Trail. I am Tamara Bertram coming to you from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. It is normally Mystery Card Monday, normally at 7 o'clock. We're mixing it up a bit because it's a holiday here in Canada. It is Thanksgiving Monday. Uh, so we're going to do a let me show you how. And uh, we're doing it at 6.30 so that I can still go upstairs and spend some time with Craig uh, before we go to bed at like the cracking hour of like 9.30 or something. <laughs> There's Julie. Hello. Hi, Donna. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. <coughs> Sorry, Donna, you're in the U.S. But uh, aren't you? Right? Do I have the right Donna? Uh, I think he does. I think it's the right Donna. Maybe you're in Canada. See, now I'm confused. There's a Donna in the U.S. Anyway, thank you. Yes, it's Thanksgiving here. Hello, Louise in Cornwall, Ontario. Oh, hope you guys are having the weather we're having for uh, for Thanksgiving. Just a beautiful fall day. Beautiful fall day. Hi, Paulette. Hello. So, yeah, I just thought I'd jump in a little bit early, like I say, then I can go upstairs and still spend some time with Craig. Um, I wasn't originally, uh, I wasn't originally going to go live. I think I mentioned that last week and I was supposed to like take the day. Oh my God, you guys, I cannot take. Okay. All right. I, all right. That's the right Donna. Okay. I was paying attention ish. Um, you're not going to want me to guess where part of me wants to start with an M part of me wants the Washington. I don't know, Donna. I should know. I know I should know because you tell me Washington, Missouri, Minnesota. <laughs> I'm surprised I know where I live for heaven's sakes. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, I can't, I can't, I didn't have very much going on today. So you know how I've been like, um, how all I've done is die cut, die cut, die. I'm like, okay, I'm done with the die cutting. What did I do today? <laughs> I started die cutting for my November 29th class because I'm like, I don't, I don't know. The option was like clean something or prep, meal prep, which I despise both of those things. So I did do some die cutting and I did make, I made a, a crustless quiche and really it took all of 15 minutes. So I don't know what my big problem was, but anyway, yes. Thank you, Sonia. Yes. Thanksgiving here in Canada. Um, I ate all the things and I have no regrets. The, uh, the pecan pie, you guys, you have to pull up the recipe from the pioneer woman. Just Google, just do it. You can thank me later. Pioneer woman pecan pie. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, do you, Julie? Oh my goodness. Mm, I should. I should have tendonitis, but I don't. Washington. Ah. Okay, it's an upside down M. See, now you say Washington. I'm like, of course it was Washington. I know that. I'll try to remember. <laughs> Hi, Sandy. Anyway, that pecan pie. Mm. It the, the recipe is a little vague in that she says, okay, cook it for 30 minutes, like covered in tin foil. And then you take the tin foil off and you cook it for another, or bake it for another 20 minutes. If it's still not done, bake it for another like 20 to 45 minutes. And I'm like, so we, we have, it took me, it takes about 90 minutes to cook, the, to bake, not to cook, to bake that pie. And she's saying 30 and 20. I did 30 and about another 60. I think it looks like, this is why I don't like baking. It's like, shouldn't this be a little bit more exact? Anyway, it was worth it. It was worth every bite. Um, yeah, I... I was up three pounds in salt this morning. <laughs> it was worth every single second of it. Hello, Ida. Hi, Heather. Hello, Penny. Happy Thanksgiving, my friend. Hello, Karen. Finally making it to a live. Well, I've been here, Karen. I know. I know it's earlier tonight, so hopefully you get to stick around. Uh, right, so I had quite a few comments on this little beauty the other day. So I came down. Again, not having a whole lot to do. I had I had a couple things left on my yay list. And um, I needed to create a card that was monochromatic. And so I said to myself, self, you love monochromatic cards. Why can you not make a monochromatic card? Let me show you a monochromatic card. This is the one I did the month before for my tutorial. I love this. It came together in a matter of minutes. I love it. It is monochromatic. But when somebody says, Tamara, make a monochromatic card, I'm like, I got nothing. I got nothing. So I grabbed my new toy. Woohoo! What is this? I hear you cry. Well, it's a color coach. If you're a demonstrator, you can order this now on the pre-order for the uh, online exclusives that goes live to customers on November 5th. Demonstrators can order them early now. $17 plus tax and shipping, less your commissionable discount. So I looked at this and I went, right, you don't have to learn how to use this. Look, look, 
monochromatic. So monochromatic doesn't mean just all Knight of Navy. You know, it can mean anything in this range. This is monochromatic. They're all kind of on the same color. They're on the color wheel, just in different tones or undertones or I don't know, the wheel. Just go to the wheel. Hi, Cindy. Hello. Oh, Marilyn, you're you're catching me live. I'm excited too. Well, now the pressure's on. All the people are here. Goodness, I'm not going to know what to do with myself. Anyway, I'm uh, the triadics. I don't know. I guess that's saying if uh, you can go with this yellow and this red and this blue will all look nice. Um, if you want them across the color wheel. I, I don't really know. Complementary colors. They complement each other. I, I don't know. I haven't really figured out all the things. But I saw this and it said monochromatic. Anyway, well, all I know is I like Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock. And look at that. Here they are. So, okay, I'm going to go with these colors. And it was going to be a simple card, and but I also wanted to do a Northern Lights card. And this is what happened. Now, Julie, <laughs> Julie, my trippy little buddy, I, you, you're excited to learn how to do this. I don't know if I can, if I can do this again. I just kind of went with it, and this is what happened, and it was fabulous. So we're going to play. I don't have a formal, hello, Jennifer. Oh, McDonald's, fabulous. Oh, I haven't had McDonald's in so long. Um, we're going to play, I suppose I could show you how to, how I made this particular card, but I think it's more the background that you're interested in. So actually, Julie, I pulled up your image. You had posted one of the Northern Lights pictures. I think that was you. Um, they are not on sale, Cindy, correct. They were the, and it wasn't from this catalog anyway, honey. They were 15% off annual catalog, single car uh single stamps like not bundles so this was in the mini so it wasn't on sale anyway but oh you want to make this card okay um i can do that some lights for the first time last week well isn't that exciting i know i wanted to see them dance we didn't see them dance we just saw the bright colors when we looked through our phone um and it was very exciting very exciting because you look out the window going oh i see nothing and then it went but my neighbor literally posted three minutes earlier all these wacky colors and things and i'm like well she's three blocks away so I went out and I said, well, I'm going to try to take a picture. And when I held, it was like, it was like the 3D glasses or like those, you know, um, those things, we, the viewfinders we used to look at when we were kids and boom, the sky was just alight with all these colors. So I thought I might even try to come in with some of the other pinks because Julie, your card, it was like, there's some neon green in there. Holy. The one I have, pictures on my page have literally, there's berry burst in there and then there's a little bit of blackberry and then there's the greens. So this pulls really green, but it's Lost Lagoon. But the colors that I've got, it's looking at me here, they were Granny Apple Green. Uh, they're all these colors. So I'm just, we're gonna, we're gonna go through it and we're gonna see what happens, honestly. Um, okay. I, I'll show you, how, I'll start with this and we'll see how we get on. Okay, 638. And if I go longer, I go longer, man. This is my party and I can go long if I want to. So we're gonna just find my paper. Here we go. This is a must. You must have a glass mat for this, people. You will be so grateful that you spent $84 to get this bad boy just for this card, okay? So it's going to be an expensive card. <laughs> it's okay. It will it will make you question why you haven't done this forever. So you're going to get a glass mat. You can use makeup brushes. Okay, when I go like this, can you even see me? Let's go like this. Let's go like that. Okay, there we go. Hi. All right. So um, you can use a makeup brush. You can use our finger daubers. You can use, you could use brayers. I'm telling you, you're going to have the best results if you use our brushes. Okay. I have primarily the large ones. I do have a few smaller ones that I'm, I think I have three or six of these. So I'm going to use, this is not Frasia. This is going to be a different color. Yes, I have a brush for every single color. <laughs> Excellent, Jennifer. Oh, Jennifer, I'm so pleased. Okay, that's good. Um, I like to hear that people like it. Hello, Kentucky. Becky is KY Kentucky. Let's go with Kentucky because I don't know whether any other K states. <laughs> Early question, but can you show the color wheel again? Sure, Jennifer. Uh, why? It doesn't have the in colors because those are going to go out. So they. this is different than the one that people got at backstage or at uh, on stage in Houston last year. It's different. Um, they revamped it so it's going to be usable longer. Um, the other one had, I think, the in colors in it. So there you go. Oh, look, on the back it says, <laughs> on the back it says how to use it. 
you know, oh, look, it's already full of ink. Look at that. Just starting out, choose one color that you love and pair it with the shades and tints of that same color. Oh, who knew? Color your way. Be a color explorer. Oh, triadic colors. Craft with colors that are evenly spaced around the color wheel. Go beyond the primary colors. Analogous. Choose three colors that are side by side in the color wheel. These colors, okay, well, so then what's monochromatic? Monochromatic. Just starting out, choose one color that you love and pair it with shades and tints of that same color. Or those shades and tints, I guess. All right. Well, how is that different than complementary? Complementary. Oh, I don't know. I'll figure it out, but that's where it is. Okay. <laughs> All right, Becky, you for me. Hi, Karen. Hello. So you want to use these ideally, okay? They are going to be your best friends. You're going to have more control than with the finger dauber. They're not as messy. Your fingers won't cramp quite as much. They probably still cramp. Now, I'll just try to do what I did on this card. Um... Let me grab this. Yuletide Village. All right. Let's just start. If you want me to make, recreate this, I'll show you what I did. I um, opened it. <laughs> I wasn't planning to stamp, but Cindy, you convinced me. All right. So go like this. And I think I stamped it in the pretty peacock. But you know what? I'm actually going to stamp this in Night of Navy. It gives a much nicer uh, accent. So I'm going to do it in Night of Navy. Like we're, we're totally, you guys, you're just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm going with it here. I'm just, um, talking, I'm not going to be reading as many comments because I'm just kind of winging this. You can get a little peek into my mind. Yes, please figure it out before mine comes and then teach you. Well, Jennifer, I have a very busy calendar. I don't know if I can handle that, but we'll try. <laughs> I will certainly try. Okay. So I started off with, oh, this looks like this little, the guy's right off, going to go off a cliff. I just noticed that. <laughs> All right. I just, I first, I just put ink to paper. I just thought, well, let's see how this little chart, let's make a scene. So here we're going to stamp this, uh, this piece of paper is three and three quarters by five. She said measuring. Yes. Three and three quarters by five. So there's a little churchy thing. Uh, and then I'm going on with the little housey house and he's going to go over here. I think I need a tree on this one. Do I need a tree? So we're going for this little tree. <laughs> okay. You're looking up for the stamp, and I just want to see the coloring. Now, is this tree? Let's see now. Uh, now that I, I think I can go like this. And sure, why not? We're going to go. Had I thought that through a little bit. Okay, we're going to go like that. Okay, now there's a tree. Okay, I like it already. All right, now we're going to close this up. We're, we're going to get so inky, you guys. And um, hmm, it's going to be great. Now, what I had done earlier uh is i grabbed my post-it notes so i wanted to i wanted to have like a night scene behind this i wasn't originally going for northern lights i'm telling you but now that i've stamped it i want to be playing with ink around here that's distracting there we go um but i don't want it to get on the on the house and the images i just stamped so i stamped it again on a post-it note and we do have full sheet sticky things that I don't love because they're too sticky and I find that they actually tear my paper when I take them off. So I just use good old post-it notes. I get them at Costco when they're on sale. Um, why am I using the wrong color? I'm going to open the Night of Navy again and I'm, I'm not going to force you to watch me fuss with that but just so you know what I'm doing. Find the sticky part on your sticky note so it's up here and I'm going to stamp Right there. Then I'm going to take this off and I'm going to fussy cut. Boom! By the magic television. So I've cut around the image and then this part is sticky, or it was. It may not still be. It's sticky. So that's going to stay there. And it's this is so this is called masking off. Okay. <laughs> I cannot do that, Jennifer. That's uh, We're not allowed to do that, actually. We're not allowed to sweeten the deal. <laughs> I shall not break the rules. No. <laughs> um, a birthday present. <laughs> All right. So I'm, I did the same with this. So just stamp it on the post-it note. Yeah, we're not allowed to um, to offer things we can offer like tutorials I believe stuff like that but we can't offer um any bribes to get people to uh 
to get the kit. So, okay, now I'm going to cut, I'm going to do this one too, this tree, because you see what I'm trying to do, right? I'm just covering up the areas so that I'm not, oh, poop, did it the wrong way. That's not going to help me at all. It's not sticky there. Let's do it again. Exactly. That's what I was going to say too. Is there already a demo? Most of you who watch me are demonstrators. And you know what? I, uh, I'm honored that you that you follow me being demonstrators this isn't your first rodeo you know how to make a card right so I'm honored that you do watch along okay all right so I just have to fussy cut this little guy out so that the ink goes around him too oh that's all right Jennifer no worries that's okay Usually I find out how all the, about all the rules is by having broken the rule once. <laughs> I've had more calls from compliance than I care to admit. <laughs> you can't do that. Oh, oops. Didn't know I couldn't do that. Now I do. They're very kind though. They, they, they don't assume that you're trying to be a sneaky deaky shyster. Okay. Still, it rattles your nerves a bit when you get that compliance call. All right, here we go. <laughs> Thanks, Marilyn. I do enjoy my job. I have a lot of fun. All right, so there we go. So we've masked off all the parts that we don't want. I mean, I could do this cover it just in case I get a little sloppy anymore. Sure. In case I get a little carried away with my brush. Now, so this is what I did. I went in with my Lost Lagoon. Let's open this bad boy. This is where it gets messy and fun. Boom. Ha. Ah, love me a glass mat. Now, we are now going to pick up the ink right from our glass mat, and we're going to just start adding some ink. Now, this can be very nerve-wracking. You know, you're like, oh, my God, oh, my God, it's so dark right there. I screwed it up. It's over. It's over. It's not over. Okay, if you start on the outside edges and work your way in, that's the main way to do it, especially with a night scene, is because the outside edges are generally black or very dark blue, all right? So if you're ever going to boob it up by it being too dark, you want it to be on the outside edges. It's no big deal. No big deal at all. I need some water. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, so we're just going to go in, and when it comes to... These post-it notes, I, I don't want to be going like this. I'm going to rub this off and then I'm going to expose what's underneath. So so you want to be going um, bottom up. And there's a lot of ink in here. There really is. I don't have to keep picking up ink. And if you just trust the system, the harder you push, there's a little bit of ink is coming out that you might not be able to see. But this is also going to give it a little bit of a grain, like like the Northern Lights, as you can see some of these brush strokes, which is kind of what you want. Now, oh, see that one's really heavy, but that's okay. If it's a Northern Light, hopefully it'll come out and not look so awful. Pardon me. I'm going to teach you a little, a little cheat treat, a little, <laughs> a little cheat hack tip. <laughs> get yourself some glycerin. You can get this in the pharmacy. You can get this uh, in some baking sections of like Safeway and the grocery stores. Glycerin. All right, glycerin. This is what is used in our Versamark markers and pads and things. This. Now, this is like a magic ointment. It's like a Vaseline almost. So I'm going to put a little bit. Oh, that was a lot of it. Okay, that, that was a crazy amount. So that's tons, but that's okay. This is going to... Help your ink move around. It gives you a little bit more time to play. Remember when we had our glossy white cardstock? Um, you could move the ink around. It wasn't soaking in. This glycerin is going to have a similar effect. So I'm just picking up a little bit of the, the glycerin on my, on my brush. I'm going to pick up a little bit more ink. Just kind of smoosh it around a bit. And I'm going to go back in and I'm going to do this again. And it just, can you see what's going on here? Okay, it's a little bit slimy it's a little bit greasy and that's kind of what you want so it really um helps apply a little bit of color without all the splotches that are going on here so this is if you are new ah damn it. 
Okay, it's really wet now. <laughs> I really need that wet. If you are new to sponging, go get yourself some glycerin. Okay, Shoppers Drug Mart here in Canada. CVS, CSV, CVS in the US. Walgreens, Walmart. Okay, so this is how I started, and I, d I never really considered this um, Lost Lagoon to be like a green for, I'm going to have to do another one here, for Northern Lights, but it really did pull nice. Now, um, okay, I really should use a different. So you can see I've got the odd swipe here, and that's going to be a really nice effect you know what, I'm going to cut a new one because he got really wet. <laughs> but you see what's going on here. Look how much color there is just from uh, just from that. Okay, now my fingers are starting to get inky already, which is a little crazy. More scissors. I need some better scissors. What store did you buy the glycerin? Okay, I think I answered that one. So, Cindy, I think you're good. This one would have been, it was probably Superstore, maybe London Drugs. Um, just check out check out your local pharmacy. I, I do believe that you can get glycerin in the baking section too, but I don't think it's going to be as common as a pharmacy. Just ask the pharmacist where you can find glycerin. I don't know. I found it on a bottom shelf or something. So I'm just going to cut a new mask here because mine got really yucky. Now, if we were just doing the background without, without this stamped image, you don't have to do this, which is what I would like to do if I have time. I want to do another one and I'll, I just want to create the background and then stamp on top of it in a black silhouette is kind of what I was hoping to do. Okay, so this, sorry, this is taking a bit longer now. I didn't plan to do this. Thought I was ahead of the game, but anyway, we're going to cut this little guy out. Of course, I picked the one stamp set that doesn't have dyes, right? <laughs> I, I only just got this stamp set recently because I wasn't, at first I went, I don't know, there's no sentiment. That drives me a little bit crazy if there's no sentiment. Uh, it hasn't, I don't know. You can, it's, I don't know. The brush still works. I mean, define ruin. It still works. I don't know. I think you can wash it out with water. Mm. What's it going to do to it? I don't know. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and say no, Jennifer. So it just, the glycerin just really seems to help it blend without being too splotchy so don't have to belabor this too much in this color but I wanted to get a nice kind of solid background now part of me was thinking how about if I would have just started with a a nice piece of uh, Lost Lagoon and then stamped and put the houses on top of it and then we could have sponged the colors to look like the sky but anyway it's a process I am now showing you so there's our green as our base. And so maybe I'm just going to go in and try to get some swipes. I don't know how the other colors are going to come, but let's just try to get some grain going on here so that it looks like Northern Lights swiping up. I think that's all I'm going to do for that. Okay. Hi, Chris. How are you? Chris Stone's from Australia, everyone. Long time viewer. Since COVID, right, Chris? All right, so I'm just going to... I'm using baby wipes on this, and then I'm chucking them right in the trash. And if I have to use six baby wipes, so be it. This is nasty, messy business. Okay. Then I went in with some pretty peacock. And what I was trying to do was get... I was trying to get this effect that I had on this card. And this was actually... I had done a similar technique, but this was with boho blue... And then it was just kind of a glow. Like I wasn't really looking for Northern Lights. Oh, I was going to mention my classes that I've got coming up. But anyway, you guys, oh, I have registration open for my, my bird class now. Did you see these? Registration is now open. Okay. So this one and this one. See, I digress. And this one, not with the Merry Christmas. But I had to use sentiments that were in the stamp set. But you can make them into Christmas very easily. Like this one, Peace on Earth. So is it, you can sign up for my class. I worked hard on that. <laughs> I digress. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with my pretty peacock and you don't have to, I don't, I'm not going to put the whole, whole ink pads worth of ink. I'm just going to tap a little bit of ink here and we'll see where we get to. Hi 
Hi, Mary. All right. So same thing. I'm just going to add. Now this time I'll see if I can just add a little bit of glycerin. I'm not very good at a little bit of anything. Me. Okay. It's already on my finger, right? So same thing. I'm going to pick up a little bit of the glycerin, a little bit of the ink, and I'm going to work from the outside in again. Just adding a little bit more depth. And honestly, like it freaks me out too, right? Like just to be, okay, I'm adding color now. I don't want it to be all splotchy. So we're just going to get a little bit more shading. I don't like this could look like the dog's breakfast, but I, maybe that first one was a fluke. I don't know. Maybe it was going to turn out caca. Who knows? I think it'll be okay. Okay, and then we're going to go in and I'll just go in a little bit heavier. So that glycerin is just going to help it slide. Ooh, I like that. And then you want some spaces that are lighter and some that are darker to let those colors come through. And maybe I'll go in with a little bit of the granny apple too. I don't know. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so we're just adding a little bit of depth. You can see it kind of pulling through. All right, like that. Okay, it's coming, it's coming. Um, okay. Now, then I went in with, let's just, uh, I'm going to leave that ink there and that brush there. Then I'm going to go in with the Knight of Navy. I think it was Knight of Navy I used. Oh, <laughs> that was intense. Okay. And where's that brush? My Knight of Navy brush. A little bit of glycerin. A lot of glycerin. <laughs> okay. Now, let's try this again. This is one where I kind of freak out a bit because it is such a dark color. So I'm going to go in like over here. I'm going to go in with the, the dark on the outside and hope for the best. I don't know what I'm doing. I might come off confident, but I don't know. Okay, let's get the outside edges. I don't know how I did that. I guess I went in here. Okay, well that's a wow, that's a dark swipe. Well, that's gonna be some sort of a a glow. I don't like harsh, the harsh lines like that. So that's when you can kind of go in with your brushes. I'm gonna go back in with my lost lagoon and try to blend that in a little bit more. Soften it a bit. And you can just go and keep playing around with it. So you're happy with so again try to get some brush strokes if you can looks like those um, flares maybe a little bit of pink why not I'm gonna go in with some berry burst the glycerin no um no it kind of saturates now let's go with no you can still see it's a little bit I don't know. It's really hard to explain. It's like if you took your Versamark and just smashed it all over your card. It doesn't... No, I'd say no. Okay, I'm going to go in with my Blackberry and just see. I can do the same in that one. Okay. This makes me a little nervous. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Get some pinks in here now. I have no idea. Again, with having the glass mat, you can take off as much of the ink as you want just to you can always add more ink right but you can't take it away so let's see if we can add a little bit of pink in here and it does show through Ooh. oh okay mr. church you said okay that's coming along 
Um, I do think I want to try some granny apple. Let me grab my granny apple one. My parakeet. Do I have a granny apple? Uh, granny apple. Yes. Oh, he's little too. Okay, that's good. Now, you don't have to smash all your ink on your on your gloss mat. You could just pick it up from here. But then you can't be adding your um, glycerin. You could also take it out of the lid, right? If you don't have a glass mat, like look at all this nonsense I got going on in here. So I could just pick up some ink from here, dab it off on my glass mat. And kind of a, oh, <laughs> yep. Oh, this is kind of fun, you guys. Look at all the different colors we've got going on here. Look at that. It's coming. So then it's just a matter of, well, when do you stop? I think that's all I want for that green. I think I want to go back in with a little bit more of the Lost Lagoon. Yeah, that's really adding to it, isn't it? So make sure I've got my right brush. This is the Lagoon. And that's not Lagoon. So I'm just going to go back into here and pick up a little bit more. And just kind of blend. I have to be careful not to move that church again. It's a little intense, and it's funny. If I hadn't just seen these colors in the Northern Lights, I'd be, oh, my God, that is so fake. That is so fake, right? That's not what Northern Lights look like, but uh, it does. Oh, okay, I guess we're done with that. <laughs> He's moving. It's because I use too much glycerin. He's fairly wet. Night of Navy, the peacock. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick up a little bit more of the peacock, I think. I want those colors to be a little bit more subtle. I do like that pink though, that's nice. I should stop, you know I should stop. But I'm not gonna. Thanks Virginia, hi Virginia. Okay. So I'm a little afraid of this guy now. I could tape him down. I think I'm gonna finish this off with a little bit more of the Knight of Navy around the edges. I think I'm gonna go hard. Get it look like it's much darker in the background there. I mean, you could just play with this forever, right? At what point do you stop? I don't know. I tend to just keep going when there's when there's really harsh. Um, Harsh lines. I like it to be so saturated that it all really blends together. And I just want to touch more glycerin when I can get some of them over here. And the, the more wet the paper is with that glycerin and your ink, the more the colors are going to blend. Okay, so there we go. I think I'm going to stop with that. My lighting isn't showing up quite. I'll peel this all off. So, that's quite nice. Quite like that. Okay, now I'm going to go in and I'm going to clean up. And of course, no two cards are going to be the same, right? And I think that's why I don't love these kind of techniques. I'm very regimented. I like everyone is the same. Look at, I mean, I did the same technique. I used a couple extra lemon wine twist. Uh, oh, absolutely. It would. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, granny apple green, even old olive, right? Like it's all just different lighting. Um, and mother nature gave us quite the show, right? So there's, there's definitely no right or wrong. It would show up and you might just want to, um, instead of using your, um, the Lost Lagoon as the base, you could use Lemon Lime Twist as the base and build off that, right? Like, whatever you want there to be a lot of one color, use that as your base and then just cover it up. Okay. So, um, thanks, Bev. You you know, Bev, you might really enjoy this. I don't know. You might, you might want to stick yourself in the eye with the brush by the end of it, but... Look how that turned out. I would have never really put um, a lot of pink in there, but 
Now, if you could see, I want to see Julie, or actually here, I'll just, I'll pull up my, here's my cat. Let me just pull up a couple of my pictures from that night. Okay, so like here's the card. You know, I would, I would never think that that was real if I saw that on a card. Like, look at those colors. And so this one, you know, kind of looks fake to me. Well, no. This would have been an interesting one. Like, do, do more of the green down below, like that. And then the, yeah, just so pretty. So anything goes. Like, there's no right or wrong. That could totally have been a scene. Now, for that, I'm not going to belabor um, how, to, how to do that, um, how to do the coloring. I just colored the rest with um, the my blends with my peacock, my lagoon, and then navy accents. And then I did boho for some of the other parts. And I just used some Winkostella to make the snow glisten. And the peace on earth, <coughs> excuse me, that's from the peaceful, <coughs> no, it's not. It is from Christmas labels. I thought it was just perfect. It was just a nice, a nice sentiment to go on that card. Um, uh, well, but Virginia, you totally had to look at it through the lens of your iPad or your or your iPhone. You couldn't see it with the naked eye. There, I mean, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, where are, am I? Am I blind? What is going on here? You had your naked eye won't see it. You needed to look at it through uh, the lens of a camera. So another thing you can do, like, so that was that was using masking, and I'm gonna do another one here. It's 707, but um, let's just have another little play. I thought let's do something similar. If I did, you know, the whole background, the whole sheet in, in a night scene, and then in the foreground stamp um, like silhouettes. So we could stamp, you know, this in the foreground, or I was looking for some nice trees that I could stamp uh, these ones and just make it look like a scenery. Or you could use these dies. So let's just pretend that like... Okay, this is these are the leaves and we could just we could put put the dies over it so let's see if I can do that in less time um, with a little bit of color so I, I do like how this started I'm wondering if I could just start with a piece of nah let's not I was gonna just start with a piece of Lost Lagoon but um, let's just go for it don't overthink it just do it Oh, you forgot to look. Oh, <laughs> okay. That'll slow you down. Okay. So there's my lost lagoon. And then, um, uh, maybe I'll just go in with night of me. I'm just, let's just set up my inks here. Lost lagoon, night of Navy. We'll do maybe a little bit of the green. And I might do some more of the pink. We'll see. But okay, let's just get going. We haven't got all night here. So we're going to add some. Okay. Let's get the right brush going on. We've got Lagoon. So let's just go in, go hard. Wah! Try not to destroy your paper. Like, look at how quickly you can get coverage. Maybe I should slow down a little bit and not mangle my paper too much. Like you could just tell it just um, goes on a lot smoother. And maybe I leave these streaks. Perhaps Tamara overthinks things a bit too much. Oh, no, Jennifer, they were out like at 8.30 that night. That was the beauty of it. I'm like, for once. I Because uh, I'm the same. I'm usually in bed by 9.30. And so don't be telling me there were northern lights at like 2 in the morning. It, 
it was just so neat to uh, to go outside too and see all the neighbors looking at the same sky and knowing that your friends in the UK are looking at the same sky. And yeah, it's just pretty cool. It was pretty cool. All right, so there we've got some really messy. Oh, yeah, it's a little greasy. There, go like that. Now, let's go in with our Knight of Navy and see what we can do. Um, So I like to start on the outside, kind of work my way in. This is not a technique you're going to make like 19 of these cards, I'll tell you that for free. It's, just, it's fun to play, it's fun to create. You really can get lost in the process. Whoops. Okay, I pulled in a whole bunch of color there. I think this is now going to be my. No, that'll be the top there. That can be the bottom. So it does look like kind of cloudy. Oh, hello, Penny. Hi, Gloria. Mm -hmm. They went all down. They went all the way down to Mexico. I understand. Like they were everywhere. Places that don't normally get them. Okay, so I, I don't want a ton of this green, but I'm going to try to get some squiggles going in. Sure, that'll work. And just stop there. Okay, should I have a little bit? Is there any, still any purple in this guy? I could just do a little bit of. I don't want a whole lot. So, this was, was it blackberry? I think I used blackberry. So, I'm just going to pick it up from the lid. So, squeeze. Gets transferred into the lid. Pick that up. I'm just going to dab some off. I don't want too, too much. be a little burst there of pink. Go back in with my lagoon. Peacock. Just a little bit of peacock. A bunch of pink. By blending all these colors too, you're kind of coming up with your own Color. So peacock. Okay, so peacock. Just going over all of it. Oh, it's getting pretty bent and wet. Ooh, that pulled out that purple quite. Oh, yeah, I went over that purple. So you get the idea. Are you picking up what I'm laying down? Look at that. I am covered in glycerin. <laughs> I just, I love when I can get it to really seamlessly blend where you can't really see the end of one color and the start of another. And the glycerin just really helps that. So you can still see the hint of green. Just saturating the paper, really. And then I would let this piece like really dry. You might want to heat set it before you attach it to a card base, just because it is kind of, I mean, I bent it, but <laughs> it's, you know, it's been uh, saturated with this glycerin and ink, and you want to make sure it's really dry before you attach it to a card base. So let's just say we've got something like that going on. 
like that. I think I like that. Do I like that? Done. Stop. Step away, Tamara. It keeps going. <laughs> Just want it. I want it gradually later in that one little section. Okay, that's... Oh, you know what? We've got that moon stamp. Will the basic white thick stir? Anything will work. You bet. Yeah, it'll work. How about... Where is my moon set that I have not used yet? I'm not going to. I'm scared. What if we put... Like, if you stamped a moon. I'm not going to try it on this one because I've worked too hard. And if I screw it up, I'll be sad. But I'm thinking, what if we, if we chop this down? Now, so there's, um, this one is from Gro the Grove Dies, which is in the Grove. Or is it Grassy Grove? This one was with this guy because the deer. So Grassy Grove and Grove Dies go together. So that's this one. I'm going to cut this out. Oh, my hands are slimy now. Hang on. I'm going to cut it out with some black cardstock and then I might trim this down. <laughs> I could try Jennifer. I don't know. All right. Uh, let me see. Let me go with, I see comments, but I haven't, uh, is this big enough? No. How is it that I've got like Bags of scrap because I've never the right size. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. Okay. You could also stamp like silhouettes in the foreground. And for that, I would use the stamp apparatus. To make sure you get a nice saturated black. What's going on here? Um, oh, are you even kidding me right now? Okay. I was like, how did that work? Okay. Apparently, this is one of these. Oh! Oh! Okay. Chopping. What was this? Three and three quarters by five. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the schmutz here. Because you know how this is going to end. Because I think we're done with the inking. I would use the cloth that came with the glass mat, but I don't know where it went. It's not on the floor, because I found my floor. Okay, you go like this. All right. <laughs> Julie! Julie, it's okay. Breathe, girl. Breathe. All right. So we're going to go, if this was three and three quarters by five, no, four and a quarter. So four and a quarter. No, no. Everybody's going to go out and buy glycerin and all the pharmacists are going to go, what is going on? <laughs> There's a run on glycerin. Okay, so three and three quarters by five. So let's go like this. By five. Thanks, everyone. Okay. Nope. This is going to go here. I'm just trimming it down so that it's not going to be... I'm trying to get it to three, three, three and three quarters by five, which is what my layer is here. Pokey tool. There we go. Oh, seriously. Okay, so what we could do here, we could pop this up on dimensionals. Didn't quite cut. See, see how it's curling? It's yeah, like if I got out my heat tool and heat set that, which I could do, it's plugged in. Let's do it. What time is it? 7:19. It's just, I'm just going to flatten this. It's pretty soggy. It is. So I'm just going to heat it straight. Another benefit of your glass mat, it's, uh, it's heat resistant. <laughs> Shh. 
Sure, Virginia. I had borscht for dinner too, so yeah, I'm really living on the edge tonight. All right, it's not quite dry, but that's all right. All right, so look at this. Could go like this. So it's just got some peeking through there. It's not quite as extreme. That's a little bit better that way. Yep, yep, yep. You could even put a deer in the foreground. The other thing you could do, so you know my hack, another thing that I like to do is I'll grab one of our thick acetate or window sheets that um, are from our photopolymer stamps, like on these. That, that, there's a thin one I throw away and then the thick one I keep. So let's just say, I want to see how this is going to look. So say I have this mountain and I want, should I do it? Mountains are going to be blue. No, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. Don't try to stop me. Okay, I'm bringing in my stamparatus just so I can go over the image a few times. Here's what I'm going to do. Okay. I am going to try not to break my magnets. I'm going to put this down here. this down here. I want this. I'm going to put this here and then I might even come in with some trees. I might trim this down. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do, but I'm going to put that there. So I'm going to close the door. I'm sorry that we don't sell the Stamparatus anymore. However, all right, where's my black ink? Here we go. Made my own black ink pad. Oh, okay. Let's just uh, get ink everywhere. Not okay. First time stamping. You don't want these halos. It can ruin your card in a nanosecond. It was just a little bit. Okay, seriously, we're just gonna. Oh, I'm gonna be inky. It's okay if there's a halo on the bottom because I think I'm just gonna probably chop that off. But okay, this was a little bit too aggressive. So just tap it. Tap it. And I might color in the spots. We'll see how this works. Okay, we're going to go like this. We're going to close the door. We're going to push. It is an inky sort of night. <laughs> okay, let's see how this is going to work. Okay, now if it wasn't dark enough, this is why I want to use a Stamparatus, is just to, to be able to go back and do it a second time, get it saturated. Okay, does that still look like a mountain? And then, I mean, you probably could go in with a marker. You go in with trees. Stamp the trees. Now I'm a little scared. This is very wet. I can see, like you can see, it's still wet. Uh, I'm going to trim it down, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um, let's see. Should I just go like this along the bottom? Do I have a black brush? Black, do I have a black brush? Black, 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 basic beige, basic gray, boho. Black, I do have a black, of course I do. Let's just speed things along here, shall we? You could go in and put in some tree die cuts in the front. Come on, you sucker, get in there. Yes. Oh, I love it. Memento ink. Yes, Jennifer. You must have missed that show. So I turned, um, I had um, one of our white craft ink pads sitting on my shelf with no, no ink in it. And I just added memento re to it. 
to make it a foam pad. I do not like our Memento ink pads. They, uh, they're, they don't work for me. Okay, that's nasty. Okay. Squeaky clean. Yes, absolutely. And I'll do, <laughs> I'll do that afterwards. Can you even do this? <gasps> you guys, oh my God. What time is it? 7.25, I don't even care what time it is. Nothing wakes me up more than crafting. Is that overkill? Is that overkill or is that lovely kill? What do we think? You can't really see the sky <laughs> anymore though. Oh, see if I would have done this way, but then the mountains are upside down. Okay, let's mount this on something. What do we want it on, black or blue? Let's see. Oy, oy, oy. I do have hand sanitizer. I just don't know where I put it. I got tons of it. It's all over the place, like, because I give it away for Halloween. Anyway. Uh, oh, here's one here. See, I got it everywhere. But it's just ink. It'll, it'll come off. It's water. Okay. Um, that's not working right now. All right. Uh, let's see if I want a, I think I might just want a black base. Do I? Striking. Right? What should I do? You guys tell me what to do. I'm running out of brain power now. Black. Let's do black. Five and a half. Maybe if I do a boho layer, perhaps. Oh, it's exhausting being creative. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you like it with the mountains? I mean, with the, I think that's too much, hey? Like it hides all of our hard work. So let's just do this. And maybe if I do a, oh, let's see. I ran out of boho. I thought I ordered more boho cardstock and I didn't. I'm quite distraught. Or do I do a boho background with a. Oh, there it is. There it is, right? <laughs> I think I'm going to do this, even though I only have two sheets of boho left. Let's do this. I like the boho with the black mat. Five and a half. And who says I don't? <laughs> who says I don't have ink everywhere? I need some water. I'm dying here. Mm. Okay. Um, while we're talking, all right, you guys. So my American friends, I'm gonna put you on the spot, or my international friends, sorry, because I know that Australia is in the house, UK's in the house. Um, my American friends. I've had so many requests this week for PDF tutorials for my card classes. And I have trouble saying no. So my first initial reaction was, no, I'm not doing PDFs. I'm toying with doing PDFs. Um, three and quarters. So here's the thing. Five by three and three quarters. Four by five and a quarter. Four. If I were to do a tutorial for that decorative tree class, I would be charging $25 Canadian, which is about $1.50 American. I think it's about $18 American. Australian, it works out to about 26 or 27 Australian dollars. Would you purchase it? Um, I'm not going to hold you to it, but I think I need to have like five or six people say, yes, I would buy that for it to be a good business choice for me. But even then, I'm not sure if it works in with my business model. So I don't know. I'm toying with it. I don't like to say no to people. I don't know. I guess I'm wondering, is there really a need or do y'all just say, is there a PDF? Um, like meaning you would buy one. Okay. If there was a PDF, I don't know. $25. It would be for the three outlining the projects, the three cards. Okay. This, I don't know if it's going to stay stuck. I don't know. Thoughts. I should just say no. I'm pretty sure I should just say no. But now it's in my head. It's a dangerous place to be. I don't want to tear this. It's pretty, still pretty soggy. Okay, now I'm going to go like this. I don't know. All right. 
And then it's not really, I mean, I guess I could do a sentiment, but there we go. I don't even know what a sentiment would be. You know what? I've got, there's um, there's a new one that just came out. There's this one. That one, that one just came out, but no, there's, there's ones that are, hang on. Uh, comforting thoughts is a good one. I don't know of all the right words to say. I wish I could make this better. Cancer sucks. I'm so sorry. I'm here for you. Thinking of you and play. Okay. Like thinking of you, praying for you and hoping for you. I actually, I have a friend I could send this to, uh, just having a doozy of a time, but I'm not going to ink. I'm not going to stamp on it until it's dry, but something like that, just right like there. Yeah. I know they're Virginia. I know. No, I mean, I've, I've, I know, I know how long they take. I just, yeah. 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 Well, that's what I'm thinking, Jennifer. I'm thinking maybe not with debt. Like, I don't know. Never say never, but now it's in my brain and it really wouldn't take too much time. A couple of hours, maybe. But that's why I'm saying I would need to have some commitments. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, could just leave it like that, but I, I want to put some sort of a sentiment on. But I think that's all I'm going to say about this and the blending and how to how to do it. And uh, here's the other one we did. So I think you should have a play and have a go, right? All very very different. These were the essentially the same colors. It just comes down to how. <laughs> How dirty you want to get? Uh, absolutely could splatter some stars. Yes. I'm not very good at splattering. And I would have done, I should have done that though before the black. Um, because I wouldn't want the stars on here. So I'd have to mask that off. But yes, you can splatter. Um, pick up some of your white craft ink and splatter it like that. Yes. Thank you, Alexina. Um, so I will say again, wherever I put them here. So you guys. I only have two packets left for my decorative trees class. Two, two packages. All right. Uh, that class is October 25th. All right. So there's that class is coming up. I have a bunch of kits left for my deer because I made lots. And if you guys don't take them, that's fine. These will be my Christmas cards. So this one is November 15th. And this one is November 29th, hot off the presses. We, you can turn them into Christmas, but I had to, like, I had a Christmas sentiment on mine, but there's no Christmas sentiment in the stamp set. So forget that. But these are the cards. And I'm prepping, I think I'm prepping 30 of them. So uh, get registrations in for that. So that um, with all the holidays and stuff and... Our post office, I don't know. Well, they're going on. They might go on strike, but that doesn't affect UPS. Anyway, sign up for those. Register as and do that. Yes, love it. Yes, you need the glycerin and you need the blending brushes. You got to have the brushes. Um, and I'm just going to go rinse these off so they're not all khaki. But um, yeah, have a good play. I'd love to see what you make, Julie, if you, if you do try it. And just have no fear. Just go in. I mean, that's what I did. And they all come out looking differently. They're pretty. So yeah, have a play. Thanks for hanging out with me on this holiday Monday. Uh, I will not be here Friday. I will be driving back from the mountains. So, and then setting up for the extravaganza, which is on Saturday. So I won't see you Friday. Yeah, I'm just going to put it underwater, Karen. Yeah, the uh, the ink is water, water-based ink and the glycerin. I'll just rinse out too and let it air dry. Um, so I won't see you Friday. So, but pop in again next Monday for Mystery Card Monday and we'll come up with something. It'll be either Mystery Card Monday as usual or another... Let me show you how it's done. I got lots in my uh, arsenal here now. So anyway, um, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you learned a few things and have a good play with it. So take care of yourself. Have a great, great week and stay amazing. Thanks, friends.